Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. I'm still in a mood to continue trying to play my central file rook thing. Good luck. It's always fun. I'm not sure if I'm going to... Nope, my opponent says no to my central file rook, so we're going to play something else. Okay then. Interesting. Um... Let's do something a bit aggressive this time. Alright, so they intend to protect their king, as they should. Um, I don't know if wanton aggression is appropriate here. Oh, screw it, let's just castle. <laughs> Rather, let's ape what our opponent is doing. All right. Since rapid castling doesn't seem to really... I don't know if it's viable here or not. Well, that's a shape. Yeah, I still haven't chosen where my silver is moving to. Uh, and I'm not sure if or when I need to make that choice. All right. Um, Let's unblock my bishop. So they've committed to a snow roof shape. And I think I'm fine with that. Hmm. There's always a move at the edge. I'm not sure that this is the best use of time given the imminence of this attack. Unless I'm missing something, my attack hits very quickly here. Nanafun.
And again, it's possible I'm missing something. But what? The disturbing bit is that if this bishop does take there, then this does loosen. But I've not tucked my king into the corner just yet. Nor have they. Alright, so this diagonal is a reasonable way to approach my king. Um, Okay, maybe this is far too ambitious on my part. Maybe I needed to take here first. On about on account of what is likely to happen here. I don't know though. I'm not sure. Whatever the knockout blow is, I'm not seeing it. All right, here we go. So this is still loose. Yes, my rook is floating and that's uncomfortable, but where's my opponent's attack? Gofun. Maybe I shouldn't have taken this. I just don't know what to do. Maybe the silver moving up would have been smarter, but then things become extremely loose. Oh, my rook's floating, so they could potentially try to nab it. Um, no, they don't have a fork here, though. Yeah. That's weird. I kind of get it.
What a balancing act. Three minutes. Two minutes and thirty seconds. Hmm. Let's give this a shot. And that just hangs the night, doesn't it? That just hangs the night in a really fancy way. But I guess it can't immediately be captured, so maybe it's fine. No, no, this can't be fine. Despite our other proverb about three knights forming a checkmate, you know, that's just not happening here. Hmm. Two minutes. They're about to put something in front of my rook, so I move the knight to also block my rook. So, maybe this point might be some point where all my knights can invade. Maybe. Because I'm about to get another knight. We're playing with fire here, boys. And girls. Look at all that fire we're playing with.
Interesting. Oh, duh. The king just goes back. Um... The king could have just taken the pawn. Now things almost get complicated. But there's other problems on that I have no solution for, like that one. Um, hmm. Thirty seconds. This doesn't work. Zero. Thanks for the game. One second, I have to go reset my speaker since my audio broke up partway through the game. I was still able to hear the counting and all that, but um, half of the sound is missing. Alright, that should fix it. Let's go. One down, overlay's correct, two to go. Good luck. Maybe let's not. Let's play a little bit patiently this time. and hope that our discretion is rewarded. Hmm. Interesting. No, let's push this one. I'm just feeling a bit apprehensive about all of this. Um...
Oh, maybe, actually. Um, why the heck not? Well, one reason why not to instigate something immediately would be that I've not finished my development yet. Jeez, uh, this is embarrassing. Um, screw it, let's go down this file. Opponent says no. Opponent doesn't get everything they want. So, opponent says no, I say yes. And we'll see where we end up. They're going to drop this pawn just because my attack looks scary. I don't know that it's as scary as it potentially looked to be there. Um, on the other hand, this is an actual attack. Uh, Alright, the opponents moved their rook away, so let's dodge right into the castle. Or fortress, I guess it's more commonly translated. So, I'll spend a couple moves building this really nice shape and hoping that the opponent doesn't find a way to target this shape while I try to regain my thoughts and figure out how to attack this monster. They've moved both knights and all their generals as far forward as they all go. Mm hmm. Hmm. I have an option. I don't know if it's a good option. Um. Let's try it. Why not? The opponents loosened their pressure here, so if they give me one tempo, I'll tuck the king in the corner. And put the silver in the way, and then we'll just play a normal game there. Alright. Cool. Um, yeah, if the rook moves, I can just push here. And they could drop their remaining pawn or something. I don't know. It's hard to know everything. I don't even know if I'm supposed to push this or maybe the one next to it. Um... Feels like both have some problems. If I give them a ton of pawns, I might be in trouble. If rooks exchange, I think that's okay for me. If I push, they take. I drop, they take. I push here. They start action here. It's so difficult for me to defend. 
All right, let's build the shape. Wow. Okay, then. That's confidence. Or that's a belief they have a tempo to do something more. Um, I don't know that they have that tempo. Go Fung. So if the lance moves up, nothing's defending the lance. If the lance doesn't take this, I can take the pawn and then push again. This is getting complicated. I think that's a free knight for some definition of free. Um, All right, you do your attack, I'll do mine. We'll see how this turns out. I'm, I was optimistic earlier, and I'm slowly revising my expectations. So I'm threatening to take... oh, never mind. I was threatening to take the knight. Um, now I retreat. And realize how I lost a move here. Almost. I did move my bishop here, but... Well, no, my pawn went from the board into my hand. It's not a complete loss of a move. I just mostly lost a move there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's annoying. Hmm. We'll see if I survive this or not. It's looking like not. But what do I know? Sampun.
Oh, they can just reinforce. Oh, they have a pawn, in fact. I gave them a pawn some win. Um... They can continue reinforcing this attack. Jeez, I'm bad at this. Um... All right, well, I don't have much of a choice here. My king is going to have to run. We might use this to attack their king somehow. Oh, that's a mate threat.
30秒20秒。10秒。Thanks for the game. Two down, one to go. Good luck. This opening is fun because it divides the board in half. Um, so anything could happen anywhere. Uh, and it's easy to split your opponent's attention. Or rather, if you can succeed in dividing the board in half, you only need to pay attention to half of it at a time. That's... I'm sorry, I mixed up my ideas there. But yeah, dividing the board in half makes it far more approachable than otherwise. because paying attention to the entire board at once is a bit taxing. Interesting. But we've got one hell of an opening going on here. Um, I declined this bishop exchange here because I didn't see any advantage from it, and because bishop drop tactics here look too strong. Um, mm hmm.
Okay, have I missed a shot somewhere? I don't think I have. So much for dividing the board in half so I only have to pay attention to half of it. That's really not how this is working at all. Because our opponent split the board open. I think you do get your advanced pawn here. That's... Oh. And then you actually get to promote your bishop, too. Because I'm just that nice a person here. They're both fans of Subway Rook. Oh, I assume you're talking the previous game. I'm sorry if I missed your comment there. Um, but yeah... It was an interesting game. Oh, my audio cuts out again. Anyway, my big plan here was to drop a pawn there, but there's some problems with it. One, it's slow, even though I'm not willing to admit it. Um, Mmm, this sucks. Everything about this sucks. <laughs> Alright, let's cut their rook out. They're still going to drop a pawn here. I still have no response to that. And then a silver drop here is even further painful. So, maybe I just let them promote? I don't know. Maybe a bishop and a rook are worth the same in the opening, and I don't know if we're still in the opening or not. But yeah, if they try tactics, I can just drop a bishop here or here or something. Trapping my own bishop. I don't know. This is patently awful. Yeah, I can't give away my rook. It's too powerful a piece for the opponent. Um, hmm. All right, you know... It's my turn to attack. I don't care what you say. We're going to attack. Because it's my turn. That's how this works. This is so dumb. Do I wait for them to make this hole here? Maybe. Maybe not. my turn because I said so okay now you get two bishops go from
I've got two bishops and a knight. I uh, wasn't banking on that. At least not voicing it aloud. But really, my combination doesn't make sense any other way, so... What am I saying? I don't know. All right, what's our next proverb? Don't run from a fork. Hey, look, it's a fork. Yogi Berra once said, if you come, if you find a fork in the road, take it. Um, I think that might apply here too. Oh, I just allowed another fork. <laughs> uh, I'm not keeping score very well here. <sighs> silly, silly proverb does not apply in this situation, or does it? We can't possibly give the opponent a rook. That's just not happening. We're going to run from a fork here. Proverb be damned. It's just a guideline. See, this is what happens when I don't follow the guidelines. Another fork. This is why you follow the guidelines. All right. This is going to hurt a lot. Why didn't I move there? Okay. Well, I'm just so tilted that I'm not reading. Whatever. Sampun. Um I don't know how to get out of this hole that I've dug myself thoroughly into. Start with a pawn. Try to get that horse out of this mess. Try not to hang everything all at once. <sighs> this is going to suck. I have no attack. All of my pieces are hanging. And my king is, like, while it is shielded a little bit, that shield's not going to hold. Um... No, no, no. Nifun. Oh my god. How do I do this? Uh. 
Like, that's the piece that's supposed to help me checkmate here. But I don't have a mate. And their attack is extremely swift. So, like, I can't just ignore it. So I've dropped the only piece that could help me mate in this circumstance. And now I just lose. But I had to drop this, otherwise a pawn drop just nixes what remains of my castle. It's a quandary. I looked at other drops and none of them seemed to work any better. But maybe I missed something critical. All right, so I'm hanging a silver for no gosh darn reason. Um, Ippun. I'm not doing this correctly. They'll just take my knight with this bishop, and I'll have nothing. Okay, now I have everything. Although this is the weak point, so like, what am I doing? Wrong pawn. Didn't matter. Jubio. All right, three games down for the day. Plenty of action, eh? Hope we enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.